Hello everyone, it's Z Artwork back here, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a baby wolf with a nice blue eye. But I really, really want you guys to please like and subscribe to this video. And I'm starting to build a nice fan base, and I really appreciate you guys watching, so please like and subscribe. Just to subscribe, hit the little button down below. Hopefully you have a YouTube account. And on, on Monday's drawing today, I'm going to show you how to draw a baby wolf. But in this uh, video, I'm going to use some colored pencils, which I haven't done before. I'm going to add some little bit of vibe to the video. And it's going to be a very nice blue eye, by the way. So, the materials I used, I used a normal pencil, mechanical pencil that I always use. But I also used a normal pencil, just for a little bit of a different effect, because this one has darker leads on it. Then I used some colored pencils. Um, just preferably different shades of blue and black and then also I use different types of erasers you'll see but so to start off by drawing your baby wolf you wanna do the outline but make sure your outline is very light because if it's dark then and you mess up then you're gonna have to erase it and erase it and that's just gonna leave smudge marks and scratches in your paper so make sure you always I mean always do your outline very light and you can always darken it later as I'm getting done with my outline though I'm gonna make sure that the snout of the wolf is perfect because that's essentially half the drawing is the snout as I'm working on the snout though I really wanna make sure that it's perfect always go back erase 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 till you like it till you really like it and I hope you guys liked a Wednesday's drawing every cartoon Wednesday it's a very fun thing I'm gonna do uh, last weekend I mean last week I drew the Tasmanian Devil with a whole bunch of Zentangle patterns I'm gonna do all different types of cartoons every single Wednesday well every other Wednesday and who knows I might do it actually every every single Wednesday if everyone really likes it but now I'm gonna start focusing on the nose of the wolf I'm adding a lot of detail to start off because I'm just going to get it done and move on. So I'm going to put in all the necessary details to it. So a way to detail is by putting a whole bunch of marks in and then uh, with your fingers smudging it all or your blending stick, however you want to do it, smudge it all and then use an eraser and erase it. Kind of a fur effect because it's an animal. So that's how I do that. So now I'm going to be going on to the eye. The eye is very important because you need to position the eye perfect. In, in this case, the wolf's kind of looking a little up, so the eye is going to be facing down just a tad. And in, in this particular wolf, <clears throat> the eye is going to be very large. Very large blue eye, which is going to look amazing. So I always use my um, pencil or or anything as a guide of where I want my eye say you're looking off of a picture or this video by chance you can use your pencil as a guide to see how high up it is how, how far from the um, end of the page it is everything so I'm really erasing and trying to make my eye perfect it's kind of in this particular wolf I'm gonna make a more circle eye a circular eye so now I'm gonna lay out where I want the fur to be the, a darkened fur. I'm just gonna put a small outline of it and do a bunch of scribble marks or well, straight marks with my pencil. Just no detail really right now. Just putting a whole bunch of marks all over. Drawing the ears a little bit. Just getting the outline of everything before I start detailing a lot. And once again with the fur you want to make sure that you just constantly um, scribble, 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 or however you want to say, make lines, make lines, and all that. And then you want to smudge it out with your blending stick or your finger, and then erase it. Do it over and over and over and over again until you like it. That's how you make fur. 
as I'll say in most of my videos when I'm creating an animal with fur. So your pencil and your black color pencil do match really well. You can blend them with your blending stick or finger, they go together really nicely. So don't be cautious about when using color pencils and pencil together. It's simply all the same pencil, whatever it is. So it works really well, just make sure that once again you use blending sticks with um, drawings like this, especially fur drawings. So I'm adding a lot of detail now, really defining how I want the fur to be, how I want the ears to be, making everything more realistic like, especially by using the eraser to erase all the marks for the fur and adding real darkness to the black fur and then the lighter area above the eye, putting an extreme amount of detail into this. But now I'm going to go on to the eye, I'm going to start to darken up the eye but once again, I want this eye to be really circular. That's a real big part of the uh, picture, the eye. So as I'm drawing the eye, I'm going to figure out what kind of blues I want. Do I want it dark? Do I want it a light? So I, I don't really know yet. I think I'm going to go with a, a medium blue. So I've got my pencils here by my side and I'm going to start to color in the pupil of the wolf. I'm going to make sure it's really, really dark. The darkest part of the animal is right here, the eye. You want to make it s wicked dark, but remember to leave your little white patch in the middle of the pupil so that you can see that the light is shining on the wolf. And now I'm doing the blue, different, different colors of blue with a whole bunch of white in the middle. so. It gives it a lot of definition. And as I'm concluding, I'm definitely going to start detailing up to the extreme, making extreme details on the uh, parts of the baby wolf. The eye came out very well, by the way, in my opinion. I, I usually don't like many eyes that I draw, but I really like this eye because of the different colors of blue and white in it. So, here's my baby wolf. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys learned a lot. So, please take this into consideration about you can about drawing the baby wolf. And every in this Wednesday, I'm going to do a cartoon. You're going to look for it. The cartoon is going to be awesome. So please subscribe, please like, I thank you for watching.